corner. It goes to Delaney in front of the Sacred Heart bench. Feeds Levy underneath the basket. Double team. Gets a tough layup off and drains it. Off the glass, Olivia Levy finding some space. Comes up with the possession once again. In transition, baseline jumper on the left for Dorenzo is good. Nothing but net. Dana Dorenzo, the lefty from Hamilton, New Jersey. Side to Williams, inside it goes to Haynes, backing in on Levy with a drop step move of the right hand, scores, and a foul is called. So into the hands of Iosia. Terriers race back the other way. Pallarino catches the lead pass, driving in transition, gets to the basket, lays it in. So the Terriers pushing the pace here as Pallarino scores for the first time. Left wing now, it is Dorenzo driving to the baseline, through a double team, passes off to Wagner, and she lays it in for two. I think that Dorenzo wanted to get a shot off there, but it ended up being an air ball right into the hands of Wagner, who scores. Right place at the right time, and straight away guarded by Anderson, left around a hand screen, switched onto by Wagner, three to shoot, pull up 17 footer from the left of the lane is good. For Adesha Williams, she found the space there, and the Pioneers lead Pioneers. Kimmel driving hard to the basket with the right hand and lays it in off the glass. Got around Pallarino and scored, and Kimmel already in double figures with 11. Has to cross over and lost the dribble. It's stolen away by Stork. Lead pass down the floor. It's Haynes beating everybody to the basket. She lays it in. And the Terriers are going to call timeout here, as now it is a 14-2 Sacred Heart run. 16 Pioneers lead by 13. Williams gets to the right block, out to Hickey. Wide open, straightaway three is good. And Shelby Hickey with the three-point make. She's shooting 47% from three this year. Ball's deflected, but she recovers on the right block. Bob's inside. Dorenzo got position. Layup is good with the left hand. And Dorenzo now with five points. Picks up her dribble and tried to pass to Dorenzo. It's intercepted by Castro. Two on one back the other way if the Pioneers hurry. The feed to Kimmel, and the layup is good by Castro. And so Kimmel scores once again and now has 23 points. Right side Delaney. With her left-hand dribble, hands off to Krupe, straight away, three good. Meg Krupe, the freshman from Melbourne, Australia, with her first points. Tagging the hoop to our right, we'll see if they can answer. Ealing on the right baseline, backs it out to the wing and fires a three. It's good. Mia Ealing stepping back on the right side, and the Terriers are back within 12. So inbounds, no iron on the shot by Kimmel, so no reset of the shot clock. Kimmel launches a jump shot from 15 feet and hits on the right side. 25 points now for Kimmel, the reigning NEC Player of the Year. On the right side as the Terriers look to counter and they throw it away. Stolen by Kimmel, gallops to the basket, layup with the left hand is good. And now 27 for Kimmel. Back to a 18 point Pioneers lead for St. Francis. Krupe driving hard with the right hand, gallops to the basket, the layup is good and a foul is called. Well, now Krupe with six points here in the fourth quarter. That ties her career high. Offensive board is comes to Pallarino, left side. Krupe for three. Yes, sir. Meg Krupe with nine points in the fourth quarter. In this fourth quarter. Up top, Keltos wide open. Three. He and she got it. Sam Keltos extends her career high with her third three-pointer of the game. Francis Ealing to Delaney. Left side for a wide open Krupe three. Good! Meg Krupe with another three point basket. 76 to 70. Sacred Hearts lead is down to six. Inbound is to Phipps. And she won't get a shot off. That will be the end of the ball game. Final score Sacred Heart 81, St. Francis, Brooklyn 74. But a much better second half for St. Francis. Something to build on as they have. Now a week off before their next contest.